He rushed the motherfucking miles. Run out there. They get to going. Do, 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 do. It didn't take but three to five seconds. He probably ain't get halfway to the motherfucking mound. Everybody at that corner store. Everybody in the stands. Get up. Run on the field. I'm talking about niggas fighting everywhere, man. I'm in the third grade. I'm little. I ain't never seen no shit like this. Been good, no, I'm talking about that. In the crib, smoking on this good gas, and I'm talking about that. Too many times I've been dying without too much I can cling on. Too much to lean on, self D bone in my T Jones. In Pleasant Field, sleeping on Tiger Flow when he's home. Trying to scheme on, jump on some I can bleed on. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, man, Clear Young Screens, man. Sorry, man, been keeping y'all waiting, man. You know what I'm saying? Life's been life, and you know what I'm talking about? Shit, man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's January, uh, not July 5th, you know what I'm saying? Yesterday was uh, Independence Day. Who's Independence Day? The colonizers, we gonna get to them. You know, our real day is uh, and us as black people, especially down here in Texas, you know what I'm talking about? Our motherfucking day of independence is June 10th. That's June 19th for boys who don't know. No, it ain't June uh, 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 June 15th through the 19th because everything is a 10th. Nah, it's just really celebrated on June 19th. Or maybe if it's on the weekend, they might celebrate that weekend. You know what I'm saying? If the 19th falls on Monday, Tuesday, th uh, Thursday, Wednesday, all that shit. You know what I'm talking about? Got tongue tied. But uh yeah, man, that's our date. June motherfucking tenth. You know, the fourth is pretty much, you know what I'm saying? Most people get an off day uh working. And if you do work, you might well go and get that double time. You know what I'm saying? Goddamn me. Other than that, we don't give a fuck about that. But we still gonna eat some barbecue, you know what I'm talking about? They gonna eat some motherfucking barbecue. Real talk, if it's out there, nigga, I'm going to get it. You know what I'm talking about? But, uh, other than that, man, it's the June, Juneteenth for us, man. And I remember, man, uh, in Galveston County, well, I don't know pretty much everybody in Galveston County, but I'm a, um, a mainland baby. So, I'm going to speak for our end. On the West End, uh, West Tech City, man, um, we used to have, you know what I'm saying, we used to have a, a big, big, big festivities on Juneteenth, man. The park be wide up, man. I remember back, uh, back in the gap, man. We used to have a motherfucking stage. Used to be a stage out there. Used to have all the gospel singers, uh, uh, the R and B singers. Whoever wanted to come out and do that, man. Mostly it was, was R and B and and gospel. You know what I'm talking about? But yeah, motherfuckers used to come out there. Used to have a real good time. Do our thing, kids playing. You know what I'm saying? It was it was uh really uh for the most part it used to be very peaceful, very peaceful, and and that was for the simple fact that uh you know most of the G's that was in the neighborhood kind of kind of uh control the area, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna see too many people from other ends of uh the city just come and, and chill in Carver Park, you know what I'm saying? So all the violence and shit is kind of cut to a real, real, real uh, small meaning, uh, minimum. Pretty much like ain't nothing going on but having fun, you know what I'm saying? It's a bunch of kids, a bunch of old women, a uh, bunch of, uh, you know, just some good festivities going on. You got your food, your barbecue, everybody just having a good time. And shit, you know, come to find out, most of that was because the the areas was controlled by the the neighborhood G's. You know what I'm saying? Didn't by not letting nobody in the area who didn't belong in the area. You know what I'm saying? And pretty much, you know what I'm saying. When uh, I watched that shit, man. I watched that shit until I got when I got up in age. You know what I'm saying? I was able to demonstrate and hold it down like the niggas before us. You know what I'm saying? By not letting outsiders into our park. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All that shit kind of kind of switched up. 
uh after after uh Hurricane Ike, you know, when uh pretty much everybody got displaced out of Galveston and everybody got pushed to our end. Uh we couldn't really just control the park like that because everybody's you know what I'm saying, sprinkle they start sprinkling everybody from Galveston everywhere pretty much. So our end we got inundated with a lot of motherfuckers who wasn't from there. So and this is where they kids growing up and they little cousins and all this shit growing up with us. So shit, we can't tell a motherfucker they can't come to the park. You feel me? So all that shit kind of died down. But uh, back in the gap, it wasn't like that. Pretty much nowadays, it's like everybody want to use the park for uh, anytime somebody want to fight, want some static, everybody want to come meet up at Carver. None of that shit was going down when the nigga was young, man. We wouldn't let no outsiders in that motherfucking park at all. At all. I remember one time, uh, one of my homegirls, she ended up bringing a nigga from um, Texas City over there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's the West Texas City, but I'm going to say a nigga from the East Side. She brought a, a nigga from the East Side to the West Side. You know what I'm saying? Uh when it was pretty much our time to patrol, you know what I'm saying? So we had to go on and, uh, you know what I'm saying? Kind of set examples like, shit, we don't want nobody in the park. This is just shit that we seen coming up, how the niggas did, uh, niggas older than us, you know what I'm saying? They put it down like that. They wouldn't let nobody in the park. So shit, when it's our time, we not, we not going for it either. So shit, pretty much I had to stand my ground and, um, you know, shit uh he jumps out the car and i shit i'm like hey man what's going on you know you ain't supposed to be over here you try to press or whatever but shh, nigga nigga get folded up like a motherfucking goddamn me a lawn chair around this bitch thinking think a nigga just gonna come bogart some shit you know what i'm saying but nah nigga ain't having that so i kind of i kind of let the demonstration on that one and and uh, the nigga who I pressed, you know what I'm saying, later on, he kind of, he remembered that. So, shit, we ended up getting into it a little on down the line uh, at one of them OCAWs, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, that's just prime example how we going to put it down in that park, man. A park used to be a, a, a real, 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 real uh, dangerous place, man, if you ain't, if you ain't from there, it's it, very dangerous, and still probably dangerous to this day, but it's more wide open, you know what I'm saying, and I'm gonna say it's probably more dangerous because you don't know where it's coming from, back then, shit, you already know you gotta worry about the west side, blood niggas, that's it, other than that, you wasn't gonna have no problems, but nowadays, ain't no telling where the fault coming from, we got everybody hanging at that whole lake road, uh, west side, niggas coming from the east, Gavs the niggas showing that bitch. Uh, niggas from New Orleans, everywhere. You know what I'm saying? It's just, hey. But the park is still a uh, West Side Park. So, you know what I'm saying? Niggas tread lightly. But, uh, I remember, man, ever since I was little, you know what I'm saying? Uh, growing up on Lake Road, you feel me? I always, you know what I'm saying, uh, knew that it was more than just running the streets over here, you know what I'm saying, and then seeing the alleyways and the dolphins and, 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 and playing football over here and, and, and all this this dirty-ass shit that's going on over here, you know what I'm saying. I always just knew it was something more alive until Lamarck, you feel me? By Lamarck, y'all already know, I say 146 is the cutoff, everything else. Towards the Highway 45, that's Lamarck, everything. West Texas City, uh, Lamarck, all that. That's Lamarck, when I speak Lamarck. But, uh, yeah, growing up on Lake Road, man, um, I just knew it was something. It had to be something better. And uh, my first introduction with Carver Park was uh, my big cousin, Annie. You know, she uh, before she had uh, got in the Army and, and moved off and went to Oklahoma, uh, she used to take us to Carver Park, you know what I'm saying? We used to walk from Lake Road to Carver Park, and we used to go swimming, you know what I'm saying? We used to have fun at the motherfucking park, man. 
Culver Park was jumping, man, to just see all these kids having fun. They had a big gym, big old basketball gym, wide open with a pool in the back. Big, beautiful ass park with swings, baseball fields, all that shit, man. The shit was just, whoa, you know what I'm saying? It's totally different than, you know what I'm saying? All the shit, all the only thing we had on Lake Road was the motherfucking vine yard, you feel me? And shit, Nick can only hit the vine yard like once or twice before a nigga couldn't hit that bitch no more. But, uh, man, I still remember, man, going to that pool, man. That pool was just live. They used to have, like, Little games in that bitch where motherfucker throw a, 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 a take a watermelon and, and put a whole bunch of Vaseline on the watermelon, you know what I'm saying? And throw that bitch in the water, you feel me? And everybody wrestling for the motherfucking watermelon, you know what I'm saying? Whoever get the watermelon get to keep that bitch busted open and eat that hoe, you know what I'm saying? That shit was live, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it, it had it gave me an opportunity to meet new friends and, and meet other people, you know what I'm saying? Not exactly new friends because people I met when I was younger going to Carver Park, I really didn't remember them. A couple of people I did, you know what I'm saying? And that's, that's um, uh, maybe they came from a big family, you know what I'm saying? Everybody know if you're from the west side, you know what I'm saying? It's a couple big families. It's maybe like three big families on the west side, you know what I'm saying? You got the Williams, you got the Murrays, and, and, and shit. You got the Bourgeois, you know what I'm saying? And shit, everybody else probably kin to them, and it just branches off from there, you know what I'm saying? So, shit, I think I remember the Williams, uh, the Williams and the Perrys, you know what I'm saying? Being over there, you know what I'm saying? Fighting for the watermelon or whatever. But, uh, in, uh, in between me going back and forth to the pool or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they was doing heavily recruiting on the baseball because they had just started a new baseball league. I think this is around 9 2. They was just uh, starting a baseball league, you know what I'm saying? Maybe like 91. Maybe 91, they were starting a little baseball league and uh, I got recruited. You know what I'm saying? My mama didn't really like me playing sports, but, you know, uh, the coach kind of convinced her. He called her. And uh, told him he was going to pick me up and drop me off. So, she, you know, she didn't really have to worry about me getting there. So, she, she kind of went for it. And, um, boom, that that was, uh, that's that's where it started at right there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, me going to baseball practice, you know what I'm saying? Coach Mike come and pick me up. Shout out to Coach Mike, you know what I'm saying? Mike Curry, good dude, you know what I'm talking about? I don't know where he is today, man, but he had two little brothers. Uh, he's Kyler Marcus and Manley, you know what I'm saying? Ray. Marcus Ray, uh, uh, and, and Manly Ray, you know what I'm saying, uh, cool dudes, you know what I'm saying, out of Texas City, shit, they was probably the, the only dudes from, uh, actually the East Side who played on the West Side team, you know what I'm saying, because the East Side had their own team also, you know what I'm saying, he's kind of mixed, and I, I believe, uh, a lot of them, a lot of the East Side and South Side niggas played on that team, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, shout out uh, R.I.P. Man Man. I remember he used to play. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, shout out my nigga Duke. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, Duke played. Uh, I, I'm not mistaken. Uh, Wide Body might have played. Uh, but it was a couple more cats on that team. You know what I'm saying? It was an all east side team. And they came and played over there on the west with us. You know what I'm saying? But I played on the Pirates. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, we was loaded up. Uh, me, my nigga Scooter Bug uh, from Hitchcock, uh, his little brother Lawrence, uh, my kin folk Steve, uh, shit, uh, my 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 little nigga Eddie, Eddie Arsenal, uh, his kin folk Robert. I think all of them Scooter Bug and them was kin together. We had Marcus Manley, and uh, uh, my nigga Billy Hope, R.I.P. Billy Hope, uh, Brandon, his brother. Uh, shit. Man, we had a bunch of niggas on the team. Oh, shout out my nigga Emil from Lake Road. You know what I'm talking about? We was all on the same team, you feel me? And we was live. We used to get first place every motherfucking year, you know what I'm saying? Only people who used to goddamn me stand up to us a little bit was goddamn me the Murrays. That was the goddamn Raiders, man. Shout out to the Raiders, man. Shit, uh, 
that 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 team right there had all the bad boys on that motherfucker. You had the whole Williams Perry click on that bitch, and you had the mirrors on that hoe, and then sprinkle of whoever you know what I'm saying. West Side niggas, shit, team was just off the chain. You feel me? But uh, that was that was for the Lil League, the Lil Field. You know what I'm talking about? We had the Lil Field, uh, then we had the Big Field. You know what I'm talking about? And then these the niggas that was a little bit older than us. You know what I'm saying? These was our big brothers and shit. You know what I'm talking about? They played on the big field, and the big field was more closer. Uh, it, it was closer to the to the park side. Like, uh, if you're from the west, you know, uh, you got westward. Now, both of the fields is is both of the football. I mean, baseball fields is on westward. You know what I'm saying? But you got one close uh, right there on Carver, on Carver and westward. That's the small field. That's where we played at. But if you keep riding down westward. Going down t towards uh, Park Street, it's right there on the corner of Park and Westward. You know what I'm talking about? They used to have a, right now it's a, it's a little substation, little building right there. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it used to be a motherfucking corner store. You know what I'm saying? You used to call it the pink store, man. And this store right here was, man, you got a corner store right there in the middle of the motherfucking hood, man. And I'm talking about, nigga, this was Blood Central, nigga. Everybody... Everybody standing outside that hole getting it on, you know what I'm saying? It didn't matter, you know what I'm saying? What time of day it was, it was just jumping, you know what I'm saying? But uh uh, you know, during the during the uh the baseball game days, the whole park wired up, you know what I'm saying? You got everybody out there. Mamas, daddies, uncles, cousins, uh, everybody who playing, plus the uh game bang goes down there at the park, you know what I'm saying? And like I say, we played at the small park, but down at the big part is where our big brothers played. You know what I'm saying? And that was right across the street from the motherfucking corner store where all the bloods was hanging at. You feel me? Pink store. You feel me? But uh, anyway, my 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 big brother played. You know what I'm saying? My brother 311 played uh, baseball. You know what I'm saying? He really wasn't no baseball nigga, but you know, at that time, shit, it was just something to do. Shit, I was in the park, so he he be in the park, but. And he never got to the park with me, you know what I'm saying? He always had his own agenda. He was older than me. My brother, three years older than me, but, you know, uh, he was like four grades of me, so so uh, four grades above me. So by that time, them niggas real advanced, man. I'm talking about shit. Well, I was in the, what, third, second, I'm, I'm, I'm third grade, so uh, shit. My brother in the seventh grade, and they very active on that gangbanging shit. Niggas already, niggas already, uh, Murk and shit, putting the murk game down. Niggas down there, niggas doing drive-bys, niggas doing all kind of shit. And I'm talking, I ain't talking about niggas older. I'm talking about these niggas. These niggas is young doing that, doing that thing. You feel me? So it was already jumping, but you know they still niggas was still kids. So niggas still niggas still some motherfucking athletes, man. So they still had a little baseball team going on, and niggas playing baseball, man. I remember. A lot of them niggas was playing, man. A lot of a lot of the older homies was over there playing, man. I remember uh my nigga Pyru, Coco Lede was out there. Uh shit, I remember uh Kiki Williams, uh James Williams. A lot of motherfucking uh, you know what I'm saying, OGs from the West Side was playing on his baseball team. You know what I'm talking about? Pretty much everybody. You know what I'm saying? You can name everybody. I just didn't remember everybody from back then. But I guarantee you. If you were somebody back then, you was there, especially on this day when this shit happened. You know, one day uh, we down there playing our game. Uh, I forget who we was playing. I, I don't remember all that, but uh, we probably whooped some ass because you know how we did it, man. Shit, you know, I was a pitcher. I can play any goddamn position out there, pitcher. I was, that was my first position, pitcher. Uh, then I was back catcher. Then, um, nigga, I, I play uh, – you putting me anywhere out there, nigga. Shortstop, second base, first base. I'm going to produce. We going to win the game. You know what I'm talking about? So, uh, anyway, we won. Okay. We'll talk to you later. Anyway, we playing. Uh, we won our game, uh, probably. So, uh, I want to go down there and check out, you know what I'm saying, see what my brother got. You know what I'm saying? See, because... My brother's a real athletic person. Even though he didn't really play baseball, he used to be my back catcher at the house. You know what I'm saying? I used to pitch 
little, little tennis ball, have him hold my glove and shit. And I used to pitch from the road to the porch, you know what I'm saying? That's how I got my shit up. And he'd be my back catcher. So I wanted to check him out, see how he playing, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. Uh, I go down there and uh, it's a game already going. Uh, my brother and them playing against some niggas from Galveston. I guess it was some niggas from Galveston. Yeah, it was some niggas from Galveston. And I, the game going good, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm watching, you know what I'm saying? And everybody posted up, you know what I'm saying? The game real crunk. Hey, I don't know what's been going on before I got there, but shit, it seemed like immediately, like, the mood changed when I got there. I don't know who was batting, but it was somebody from West Texas City uh, team, you know what I'm talking about? So, uh... Nigga from Galveston pitching, man. He throwing hard. He throwing hard, man. Uh, threw a couple pitches, man. I don't know if it was some foul balls or whatever, man. But uh, one of them, this nigga threw a wild pitch, man. Threw a wild pitch. Boom. Hit the nigga. I don't know who the nigga was batting, man, but he hit him. He hit him pretty hard, man. But the nigga ain't like how he got hit. Nigga ain't like how he got hit, man. Nigga had some words, man. Back and forth with the motherfucking pitcher. He must ain't like what the pitcher said, man. Next thing you know, he rushed the mile, y'all. He rushed the motherfucking mile. Run out there. They get to going. Do, 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 do. They going. It didn't take but three, three to five seconds. I'm talking about he probably ain't get halfway to the motherfucking mile before the whole goddamn me. The whole uh, dugout on the West Texas City side, niggas jump up. <laughs> niggas out there on the field, running, <laughs> going out there. Everybody squabbing. They squabbing. Everything out there on the field. Man, shit got so hectic, man. Them niggas ran out there, started squabbing. Everybody at that corner store and everybody in the stands, get up. Run on the field. I'm talking about niggas fighting everywhere, man. Man, I'm in the third grade. I'm little. I ain't never seen no shit like this. These niggas out there really going for it, man. These niggas squabbing, man. I still I still see the shit in my head, man. My nigga Coco. Uh, goddamn me, Pot Root had a motherfucking cast on his arm, man. He got somebody in the dugout, man. The little thing where you put your bats up. Man, this shit could have been traumatizing to a kid, like, you know what I'm saying? But not me. I don't know. Yeah, it ain't traumatizing me. But that boy got that boy head, the back of his head up against that motherfucking, um, the little bat thing. Man, that nigga ran his shit out. He hitting him with the cast. Bow, bow, bow. Banging his head, blood just gushing and flying. And you see everybody else just fighting and fighting and fighting. I done lost track of my brother. I don't even see him, but I know he out there squabbing. Everybody squabbing, man. Everybody squabbing, man. Everybody squabbing, man. The shit went on for like five, ten minutes, man. Till uh, parents and all this shit intervened, man. Yeah, man. Parents had to intervene that one, man, because that bitch got out of hand quick. You know what I'm saying? It was a couple, couple niggas from the, uh, you know, uh, 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 from the other side, everybody ain't really want to fight, man. But you know, shit, it just had to go down like that, man. And and I guess it was just a stand that motherfuckers had to take to let motherfuckers know that shit, niggas ain't playing around now. Not at that park. And ever since then, man, niggas just been really, you know what I'm saying, protecting that park and not letting niggas come through that bitch. It's been many times niggas got ran off that park. I'm talking about you come over there, man, nigga take you out to Jays. Tell my nigga chase you all the way where you came from. Talking about for real. I done seen real life. Niggas should have been track stars where they got away from them boys. It's been a lot of shit going on, man. Especially in them younger days. You know what I'm saying? When niggas thought it was cool to come to the park. And it wasn't. But ever since them days, like in them early 90s like that, you didn't have to worry about nobody coming to the park. Because niggas wasn't coming. Niggas heard about what was going on, and niggas was not coming to that park at all, man. You know what I'm saying? 
And I just feel like, you know, uh, seeing shit like that as a youngster, man, and seeing what it represented and how how motherfuckers held it down like that, you know what I'm saying? Just to to hold the turf down like that, man. Nah, I couldn't be I couldn't be one of them niggas to to uh let the shit fall off on my watch, you know what I'm saying? So I don't give a fuck who around me, who with me, you know what I'm saying? I'ma stand up at at this particular time, you know what I'm saying? I ain't letting nobody, nobody who ain't from around this bitch come in this motherfucking park. Nigga meant that, said that, and represented that. Put it down, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it's like that, man. I appreciate y'all rocking with me, man. One love, man. Press that subscribe button, man. Hit that hit that bell notification, man. I got some more shit. I'm going to kick off, man. So y'all uh, tap into your boy, man. I appreciate y'all, man, uh, holding it down with me, man. Somebody in the crib smoking on this good gas and somebody.